when you look around the fabulous flora of our world, no matter where on the planet you are, the colour you'll most likely spy is green. Even all the way from space, the land looks pretty green. This plant is green. These ones are. This one too. Have you ever pondered why a plant so green? Well, we're going to have to learn a little something about chemistry. Get ready, kids. We're about to get microscopic. Activate super shrink mode. Oh, being shrunk to the size of a plant leaf cell always makes me feel a bit weird. Anyway, look at that. Those round looking thingies inside the plant cells are called chloroplasts and they contain the green chemical chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs energy from sunlight, which is vital in the chemical process, which is known as photosynthesis. Light from the sun is a combination of all the colors of the rainbow. Chlorophyll looks green because it absorbs the other colors from sunlight, like red and blue. It doesn't absorb the green wavelengths of light, which are instead reflected back to our eyes, making it appear green. The energy the chlorophyll does absorb is used to perform photosynthesis, which turns carbon dioxide from the air and water from the earth into sugars and oxygen. Plants can convert the sugars into other chemicals needed for growth or store it as starch. Oxygen is a waste product in the reaction and released into the air. Photosynthesis is crucial in maintaining Earth's atmosphere and the lovely oxygen content it contains. It's not just plants that know this trick. Cyanobacteria, which also perform photosynthesis, are responsible for some of the stunningly beautiful colors of this hot spring in Yellowstone National Park. Wow! It's thought that early cyanobacteria contributed to the oxygenation of Earth, which is a pretty big deal, really. Thanks, little guys. Microscopic phytoplankton inhabit the well-lit surface waters of the oceans. Like plants, they use sunlight to perform photosynthesis and are responsible for half of all photosynthesis performed on Earth. So when you next take a stroll in the jungle or the rainforest, the bush, or just your own backyard and think, ah, oh, beautiful green, you know it's down to a matter of chemistry.